morning and welcome to garden 36577 1997 wild wild year and it's been wild very much here overnight and we sustained quite a bit of damage. I'll show you what's happened. First of all we've had a sort of half decent snowfall just outside our house. The hill's been absolutely beautiful but it's not looking so good elsewhere. We've had a maple tree drop down overnight Obviously I've got to clear that up at some point. One of our Lalandi trees is looking precarious, let's say. But the biggest disaster is the greenhouse has not fared well. Sort of some of the panes have uh, broken and also in certain places it started to buckle. And we're just hoping that we can save this and the wind will die down and there'll still be something left. It's one week on from the big storm, Storm Arwin, and it caused massive, massive damage. And I've got to be honest, the filming I've done previous on this video, I've got to be honest, I was so emotional, totally upset. All the work that you put in to make things better, and one storm can come and absolutely destroy it. It isn't destroyed, as such, the greenhouse. It's still standing, but it has buckled really quite badly, and there is a significant amount of broken glass. So the section I'm in at the moment really isn't that warm overnight because there is broken glass all over the place. And we can't replace the broken glass because it's buckled, it won't fit at the moment. So I think the glass is all gonna have to come out and then the frame straightened, which is gonna take a massive amount of time. Okay, so I really don't know what we're doing, but onwards and upwards, okay? I was down last week, this week, mm. I wouldn't say I'm gun ho but, well, onwards and upwards, as I say. So in a number of places, as I say, there's broken glass all over the place. So I'm gonna have to tidy that up. And also just to prove that we're not uh, completely sealed, there's snow on the floor. And the reason why, because there's panes of glass missing. So pretty devastating. Well, last night we had our second storm we had Storm Arwin, and last night we had Storm Barra. And the big question is, how did the greenhouse survive? And the good news is, it did take some minor damage, but structurally, it remains intact. So there's still hope yet for the greenhouse. Fingers crossed. Storm Barra. Oh. Following Storm Arwin. Mm. And finally, some nice weather. Superb. And the damage to the green ace was absolutely devastating, but life does continue. And although I can't garden as much as I'd like to during the winter, I can do some stuff. And some of the little seeds that I planted a couple of weeks ago, even with the broken glass, they're starting to germinate. So a little smile on my face. And the very end part of the green ace, that is undamaged and sealed off now with bubble wrap. So that's where most of the stuff's going on. And one of my Christmas potatoes, for whatever reason, has died. Whether that's frost or not, I don't know. But if you know me, that is devastating. And that's upset me a bit. And my worms, as you would expect, are doing just fine in this weather. That does please me. As I say, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. So what am I up to today? I'm going to show you. Now this is some of the compost that I've made in 2021. It really is good compost, some of the best I've ever made. But what I do is I sieve it and I do that for a couple of reasons and the reasons are, and number one reason is, it makes really, really light compost to apply to your garden. But that's not the main reason. And the second reason is to segregate the woody bits. Now when I say segregate, I don't mean throw away, they will just be put back in to what will be next year's compost. So nothing goes to waste, or does it? Because reason number three is to remove any plastic that has made its way into the compost. Either by mistake, by wind, or whatever else, 
plastic does make its way into your compost unless your compost is completely sealed and I like to leave mine open to the elements so I will discard that plastic and that will go to waste that's going to go into the bin and that's a sign that the compost is finished there's an earthworm there and the earthworms will come when it's finished the compost worms will have since left because there's nothing in there to sustain them anymore they will have gone somewhere else to break down some other compost but that's a really good sign of earthworms in your compost when it's finished and beautiful it's quarter to three and the mist just starting to come in temperatures are dropping and I don't mind it's been a great day out here so far that's pretty much it for today uh, done the compost, pretty happy with that, still loads more to do as there always is. Uh, the tree that fell down at the beginning of the video, that's all been cut up and logged. So happy with that, two, three years from now we'll be burning that wood which will be great. Uh, the greenhouse is still in doubt a little bit, we've got to get estimates on that to get it repaired. But hopefully onwards and upwards next year. Uh, all I want to say now is... Happy Christmas to absolutely all of our members, all of our viewers. Uh, it's been wonderful and we'll see you next time for Gardening 365 78 where I'll be showing you what we've had for our Christmas dinner, which will be awesome. I hope. At that, bye and again, happy Christmas to everybody and all your families. Take care. See you next time. Bye. That's finished compost, sieved and ready for the garden. That's finished compost that they'll need sieving and then putting into the final container at some point over Christmas. This year's compost, some more this year's compost and some animal manure to go into this year's compost.